welcome back to Mrs O'Gram's Maths. This video is going to look specifically at finding the general solution. So we'll assume that you've gone through some context and you've figured out some equations to go with uh, the context. If you want to see a, a complete workup of that, you can look at the other videos in this playlist. Um, it's called Penguins and Fish and Zombie Apocalypse, where it takes you through the entire context and also finishes with general solutions. For this video, we're just looking at the general solutions part. So we've gone through and got these two equations and x is measuring the number of years that have passed in whatever context it is that we've been given. So if we take a closer look at uh, those equations, um, we've got, I've written the first one out fully with 2 pi over 8 in, in this part here so you can think about the repeats. So that means that it repeats every 8 years. And then the second one, equation B, with it being pi by 2, that's the same as 2 pi by 4, so it repeats every 4 years. So we've got these two equations um, creating these sinusoidal curves um, with a repeat that's going to um, line up within that time. So if we take a look at the picture of that, it looks like this. So we have um, equation A was this one on the top, um, just here and equation b is the blue one okay so as we go through we can see that equation a repeats once we hit that eight year mark just here and equation b repeats just here uh sorry just over here at the four year mark it starts all over again so back to the question um then you'd be asked something like when will b be greater than a so looking at those graphs that we have here, there are times when equation B goes above equation A between those two points just there. Now we also know that that will start to repeat again. So further on along our graph, we can see it happens again just here in the same pattern. And it will go on forever and ever like that. So we need to find a way to represent that. So if we've got these two points here as our starting ones, we'll go from there. So if we take a look at this graph, we can see um, that it goes above A, B goes above A at 4.327 and it stops at 6.584. We express it like this inequality. Now we need to think about how that repeats. So um, equation A repeats every um, eight years and equation B repeats every four years. So combined, they will keep lining up again every eight years. So this is how you would write that out. Now what we're looking for to find that the repeating number there, the eight, we're looking for the lowest common multiple of each of those numbers for the repeats. So the lowest common multiple of eight and four is eight. Now we need to write uh, that into our general solution. So this bit up here, the 4.327, the 6.584, that will happen again another eight years on. So we could add eight to both of those numbers and find the next section um, on this graph here. So if we go for the next section here, where that pattern happens again, is those two numbers that we had to begin with, but plus eight. So we need to write in that we could add eights on. So we would go, 4.327 plus 8, but we could do 8 a number of times. So we put an n as a counter. So we could do 8 times 1, 8 times 2, 8 times 3. We could do it as many times as we want. And the same for our, the upper limit of our interval 2. We can add on multiples of 8. And then we just define that n is that counter. So we finish up by saying where n is a positive integer counting the number of periods of eight years covered. So if we wanted the interval that was in the first eight years, n would be zero. So it's just the 4.327 up to 6.584. If we want the interval that's another two cycles on from that, then n would be two and it would give us the interval that was uh, 16 years on from the initial interview interval. And that is how you find the general solution. 